What's up, everybody? This is Matt from Eric Patriot News, and I'm with Romeo. And today we're going to be talking about Sound of Freedom, and we have an article from uh, Just the News, and they're talking about one of the producers of Sound of Freedom is going to be running for president in Mexico. Wow. Sound of Freedom producer, Eduardo Verstuga, I can't, Stugi registers as candidate in 2024 Mexico presidential race. I'm going to call him Eduardo. Actor Eduardo, produced, producer of the hit film Sound of Freedom, has registered as an independent candidate for the Mexican presidency, according to an official announcement translated from Spanish on his Instagram page. A Mexican journalist also posted video on Friday of the social media platform X of the Vertugi formally registering as a candidate. The general election for Mexican president takes place June 2nd, 2024. After a period of discernment, I made the most important decision of my life. I have just registered with the INE the National Electoral Institute, my intention as an aspiring independent candidate for the presidency of the Mexican Republic for the elections on June 2nd, 2024. Eduardo wrote Thursday on Instagram, translated from Spanish. My fight is for life. My fight is for freedom. It is time to remove the same old people from power. Our country needs a new way of doing politics to eradicate corruption and impunity, he also wrote. Eduardo was a lead organiz- organizer of the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, held in Mexico in 2022. Now, he is a friend of Donald Trump, and he's also, not only is he a producer of Sound of Freedom, he was also in the movie. I have a picture of him, so you guys can go ahead and see him, and you'll know who he is as soon as you see him if you've seen the movie. Gotcha. That's him. And in the movie, oh, he yeah. actually... In the movie, he actually plays the guy that facilitates the money to uh, do the program that uh, Jim Caviezel's character wanted to do in the movie. So that uh, that's who he is. He's he's not a big name actor or anything. He's a producer out of Mexico, and he helped produce this movie because he had a lot of love for this movie because of what it's talking about, and it's talking about what's going on at the border as well. And uh, I think uh, him getting into office would help the United States actually get control of the border and get control of these cartels that are uh, doing what they're doing at the border right now. Yeah, I mean, look, the cartels are at such a level of power that it will take military intervention to straighten out that border. That's for sure. Um, Not only do they have the drug smuggling money, but the, the people business, the people smuggling business, that makes them more than the drug smuggling does. So, yes, yeah, the, Biden gave a huge raise to the cartels when he got into office and opened the border. So this is a cluster that's going to take both of our countries to fix. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We'll be live tomorrow morning, 930 Central Standard. Got a wonderful show planned. Please join us and have a wonderful rest of your weekend.